each one of these pieces a little bit of my soul. It's, it's something that I've uh, thought about and worked through in my mind, and it's, it's a little bit of my soul that I'm, I've put down on, on canvas. I was a history teacher. Um, not a very good one, but I was a history teacher. <laughs> Well, I graduated from Texas Tech with a degree in history and uh, found out real quick that teaching wasn't going to be my thing and uh, took a couple different jobs um, here in town um, and just kind of gave me a little more well-rounded view of the, the world I think and then uh, the art thing took off uh, about five years ago now I started doing it full-time and making a living at it. It was just something I've always, always loved to do. Um, always, always drawn. Always just had to be creative. It wasn't something that I wanted. It was just a part of who I was that I just had to, had to make. Just always kind of had ideas that I was running with, and um, the the bullet thing kind of was just one of those that I just kind of ran with. At the same time, I was drawing and uh, painting and just kind of doing whatever whatever I wanted to do. It's a great kind of metaphor for whenever people sort of assign their perspective to, to something. I mean the the bullet casing is such a small thing and that there's this whole big um, you know controversy and background to it that's that just goes so deep that I really thought you know that's that's something that I can sort of reframe and uh, sometimes I think if, if you can can reframe some of some of those things that people tend to look at it in a different way and uh, I like that you can do that with art too you know you can you can take my perspective and show it to somebody else and say well I've never really looked at it from that perspective before. The painting that's really the fun, easy part, it's all the in-between of gluing everything down that really takes forever. There's a lot of layers, which is real similar to what, what you do with oil painting, um, but to get in all the little cracks and crevices in there, um, you just gotta paint over the top. and. You know, it's, it's challenging and fun, uh, but there's not been a book written about how to paint on brass canvas, so I'm kind of writing it as I go along, and um, that's just kind of the things I enjoy of going, oh, well, that's, that's interesting, or oh, maybe just don't do that again. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I enjoy about it. So I've got a, uh, my work's in a gallery in La Jolla, California, the La Jolla Gallery. Um, there's one in Bernie, Texas, at Texas Treasures. Um, there's one in Round Top at the Copper Shade Tree. And so you have people from all over that have, that have seen these things, and um, I just recently sent one to South Korea. I realize that I'm completely blessed to do what I love for a living, um, and I think that's, at the end of the day, that's ultimately what, what means the most to me. Is, being able to, to pursue what I love to do and, and enjoy waking up every morning and, and put my nose down and, and getting into this.